guys and welcome to yet another day. So we're almost at the end of uh, end of January now. We're on the 28th. Um, just a couple a couple more days left of January. Uh, today was forecast. Well, we're meant to be getting a lot of snow in. Um, I think it's kind of meant to be the, the bits of the storm that's left America and the US. Uh, but we'll forecast lots of snow for sort of today slash this evening but it hasn't come to much as it, it never does it never does um so uh yeah people have been worrying about going to work and stuff tomorrow it ain't gonna happen so yeah that hasn't gotten in the way of things so today at work uh much better because the past few days like i've uh, mentioned obviously the past few days have been pretty pretty awful not to uh, not enjoyed them but today was much better uh pretty much got the priceless finished so that's done with don't have to worry about that anymore um my uh, my parents and some family friends came to the, uh, to visit and, and managed to sell them something which was nice and uh yeah it was just overall a much a much better day at work so happy with that uh, went out for a lovely meal tonight went for a carvery uh tried to keep it as healthy as i could uh but you can't go wrong with meat can't go wrong with turkey at a carvery so so really enjoyed that sort of the first big proper meal that i've had for ages and uh, Actually, I, I could tell. I mean, I, I had a smaller plate than what you know I would used to have, have, have got at Carvery, uh, but even then, I still felt myself getting uh, more full towards the end of it. So I think it shows that um, you know I'm getting used to eating smaller portions and things like that. So it felt weird, but in a way, I suppose it's 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 a good thing. So um, so yeah, that was nice. Really happy with that. Uh, come home and uh, uploaded uh, uploading. Uh, the diary from uh, yesterday, well for today, and uh, yeah, just had a uh, had a bit of a workout on the, on the home gym, so I feel much better after that as well. Uh, got some weights weights going, so feeling quite pumped after that. I just wish it was a bit early because I feel like I want to you know just do something with the night, but it's nearly I think it's about nine o'clock now anyway, so so that's disappointing, but. Um, yeah, one uh, one thing that I uh, I noticed last night actually, and I uh, I tweeted it out actually. Um, I've I've noticed I seem to have a serial disliker on my uh, on my channel. Let's see if I can uh, let's see if I can find it. Um, I've always oh why is that playing? Um, I've always uh, had you know the odd person that um, I've noticed comments every now and again in uh, in my videos and and you know it's kind of there just purely to hate kind of thing um oh why is it not going to show it on that way do i need to go create a studio that's better um yeah there was one one guy in particular well i say guy one kid in particular who used to uh, always comment on my videos and say that he wanted to see me suffering lead united suffering all these kinds of things um, and it always made me laugh to be honest and it was one of those things that you know I can take with a pinch of salt and you know didn't take it as being mean in particular um, and I mean you always I mean doing football videos before especially you know I was always going to get people uh, people having to go and saying stuff like that but you know I'm, I'm considering myself pretty thick skinned with it all so, uh, so it's all good but anyway I, I, I noticed over the other day that I've yeah got a serial disliker as you'll uh, I don't know if it's showing up properly there but just on the right hand side there you can see the dislike button so got a dislike there a dislike there no more dislikes more dislikes just one dislike so i'm guessing this has got to be the same person he, he, he went a few or three days of not doing it there um but yeah back to <laughs> he sort of started off with the dislikes gave up and it's like he decided to to come back again um so the past what one two three four five six seven seven videos is uh, is decided to dislike. So uh, you know a lot of people would see this and maybe worry about it and everything. But to be perfectly honest with you, it just makes makes me laugh. And I feel like I've made it on YouTube. You know to uh, to finally get someone so uh, what I say annoyed, riled up or something. You know to go out of the way to dislike a video just for the sake of it. Um, I always find really pathetic, but I find it really funny as well. So it's definitely not something I take to heart, and something that doesn't bother me. So whether this guy is watching, that's what I say, guy or girl, it might be a girl. Uh, if you're watching, keep it up because it uh, you keep giving me the views, which is giving me money. So uh, I really appreciate it. Actually, if you could if you could carry on, uh, I'm starting to look for a new house actually, so it'll it'll help pay for that. So yeah, keep it up, mate. Um, so yeah, I found that uh, I found that quite funny to be honest. So. 
So yeah, I mean, I'll just mention it quickly there. I'm, um, I'm not seriously looking for a new house sort of at the moment, but I'm starting to, you know, get things in motion in a way. Just start looking at what is available and what's around. Um, I mean, with the money that I've sort of got saved up now, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable, and I don't think I'd be able to live comfortably uh, moving into my own place right now. But I'm kind of aiming around maybe sort of June, July time uh, to, uh, to sort of move into my own place. Because it's, you know, as much as it's great living with your parents, and, you know, I'm, I'm really lucky with the parents I have, you know, we always get on and everything. Um, you know, I've got a roof over my head. But with with what I do and the kind of you know the way I am, you know I, I really need my own place, sort of ASAP, really, um, just to have my own setup and do my own thing. I'd feel so much happier and so much better with it. Um, so yeah, starting to look around. Um, you know, I'm not wanting to move too far for work, really. Uh, so kind of looking around the area that that I live, not wanting to go to the other side of Leeds, anything like that. And just keeping it fairly, you know, open-minded about it. You know, I'm not fussed whether it's a house or an apartment or a flat or anything. You know, just just to be able to have my own place would be it'd be an, an amazing thing. I'm not wanting to rent. I'm wanting to buy because I'm not really a big. You know, I don't want to knock people that, that do rent. You know, it's it, I mean it's an option out there, and obviously sometimes it's the only thing you can do. But for me, I, f I always feel like you're kind of wasting your money by doing that. You know, the sooner you can get your own place. Um, you know, I think it's better really. So that's what I'm realistically looking at. And with the mortgage, uh, sorry, with the deposit, of course, moving down recently from from the 10% to a 5% deposit on most things, uh, that makes things a hell of a lot easier as well. So yeah, sort of over the next month or so, I'm going to start having a few a few uh, trips to to the bank and talking to them and seeing what kind of mortgage deal I'll be able to sort out and everything and start having a serious look about, go visit a few places maybe and then yeah like I say June July time I might be uh, speaking to you from, from my own place and getting some decent proper um, content out there which I feel I'd be much better on my own. Like I say as much as it, it's great sort of living with your parents and everything and, and having that you know there's only so much I can do in the confines of this little room I mean it's pretty much the the same size as a as a tin of sardines to be honest my room so you know i am limited to what i can do and when i can do it and everything so yeah i, I can't wait to have my own place really so so yeah that's that's uh kind of setting the motions going a little bit on that one i think i think that's all i have to say really guys uh really looking forward to saturday now um i'm not going to the Leeds united game unfortunately but for the reason that uh, i'm actually heading over to there I say Manchester because uh, going to see Phoenix Nights live um, on Saturday night going with Lee um, so I'm so 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 happy with that I mean for me Phoenix Phoenix Nights was is was uh, you know one of the greatest comedy comedy programs that was out there uh, it was just you know even at the age that I was when it came out so I'd have been 12 13 possibly I think when it came out first time round um, you know I I found it funny then but obviously growing up and getting some more of the humour you know it just gets funnier and funnier and you know it's a sitcom that doesn't kind of get old either you know it kind of gets better even so when they announced they were doing a live version of it I mean I have no idea how it's going to work out on stage I really don't um, but they've got pretty much the full cast back as well which is great uh, you know there was always talk of splits between them all but you know they've obviously all come back together and you know they're back on good terms and everything which is great so yeah you know I am kind of you know suspicious about how it's going to be but either way I think it's going to be brilliant even if it's just doing the same stuff that was in the program you know it's great content and great material so so yeah really looking forward to that so that's on Saturday and um yeah, so that'll be a, an interesting vlog. Yeah, the, the past few diaries, I know I've been a bit boring. I've just been, been in my bedroom, but I've really not had the time or been doing anything interesting or, enough to film it, really. Uh, but, yeah, over the weekend, well, Friday night, uh, meeting uh, Lee and Charlie and uh, one of Lee's mates for a drink, so I'll probably get some decent footage then. And like I say, Saturday, Sunday, out and about and stuff, so I should get some good stuff from there. It's up to you guys. When I'm in Manchester, I was planning on doing um, a tour, you know, like I did for London. If you guys want me to do that, then let me know in the comments below or on my Twitter at ChrisJonesLUFC. Uh, I think it would be fun to do that, but whether I have the time 
uh, or whether there'd be enough stuff to do it and I don't know. It might just be a case of seeing what it's like when I get there. Because um, I think obviously in London there's a, you know, there's always something going on, so it's kind of easy to do that kind of video. Um, you know, I've honestly not really been to Manchester much for obvious reason. Um, so yeah, I don't know what it's going to be like. But if you guys would really like to see it, then I'll go out on my way to uh, to get one of those tour videos uh, done again. So yeah, I'll leave that with you guys. So once again, hope you're all having uh, a wonderful day, or have had a wonderful day, should I say? And I'll speak to you all tomorrow.